My name is David Munn, and I've been attending uh, here at the Church of the Rock for probably a little over four and a half years. Uh, uh, my story is, uh, I guess, really talking about hearing God's voice in my life. And my story is a lot like many people. Uh, some traumas early on in my life. Um, just, uh, you know, growing up in a neighborhood where everybody looks like you, everybody has similar problems and issues to you. Uh, but throughout my life, I've, I've heard God's voice. I've felt God in those difficult times early on. I, I heard God's voice. But over the, over the course of my life, often I would hear other people's voices, my parents, other people in my life. If it was a story, it would feel like other people were writing my story or narrating my story. And so, for probably the good part of 20 years, I uh, had drifted through life, through relationships and addictions, uh, always hearing the voice of my parents, the voice of other people telling me who I am. And it often caused trouble in my life. <clears throat> Excuse me, I searched out, I think I always searched out God, uh, but a lot of times I couldn't hear his voice. And I know my wife even has even told me, when do you hear God's voice? When do you feel God? Uh, about two years ago, uh, maybe even a year ago, I was talking to a friend here at the church and he asked me, when do I, when have I heard God in my life? And it was often those times when I was angry and really feeling hopeless that I, that I didn't hear God's voice. And so I realized that I really needed God. I needed God, I needed Jesus to narrate my story. Because when I was narrating it, or when other people were narrating it, it was, it was often false. And like most people, I'm, sometimes it felt like the devil was, was really in my head. Sometimes even at church. Uh, we had kind of a joke in Bible study about if we put up our thoughts on the, on the overhead, people wouldn't come to church. But, you know, we, we struggle. I struggle with those thoughts. But the one thing that I really want to, to express to anyone hearing this, seeing this, is that a relationship with Jesus is possible. And that relationship, it changes you. It changes everything about you. And you become a new creation. And it doesn't mean that you don't have those old voices in your head sometimes. And they sneak up on you, really, sometimes. They, they, they're really, sometimes they're meek and mild, and sometimes they're ferocious, and, and they're, they're disturbing. But as a Christian, as someone who came to the Church of the Rock seeking God's voice, I found it. And so when I came here to the Church of the Rock four years ago and I met some really great men here, and these were men that they helped me to really hear God's voice, really distinguish God's voice. And they spoke right to my heart. And I've always been, 
most people know me, know me. I'm a very sensitive man. I'm, I, I often cry at, at things because my heart is, is so heavy sometimes. And having that relationship with Jesus has lightened my heart. It is the, the one thing that I can remember growing up is not ever feeling a sense of hope or feeling that someone would be there to catch me when I fell. And I don't feel that way anymore. I feel a sense of hope. And when those thoughts come in my head, those evil thoughts, and they are evil sometimes, they're angry. I hear God's voice talking to me, asking me, Dave, what is the heart of the matter? What's really going on here? And I can't begin to tell you the, the, the joy, the love that I feel when I hear that voice. I'm a relatively young Christian, so I'm sort of in the process of getting to know Jesus better. I guess just like any relationship, you get to know each other a little bit. And, and you know, the less I hear of those other voices and the more I hear of Jesus, the stronger the relationship is with him. And so I, I just wanna, I wanna conclude by just telling you that, that Jesus, that a relationship with Jesus is, is something that will change you. It will change your life forever. It'll, it'll lift you up. It'll, it'll, it'll give you that comfort that you may never have had. And it'll correct those voices, those voices that say, you're too fat. If you can't do it right, don't do it at all. There's something wrong with you. I need you to take care of me. And God speaks to your heart. And he makes you stronger. He makes you stronger in love. And he teaches you who you are. My favorite song, one of my favorite songs is, Who Am I? I'm His. So, God bless you, and if you want to know more about my story, I'm happy to, to tell it to, to anyone. God bless.